We want to give him praise. We just want to honor him this morning. It's an absolute pleasure to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Let me greet everyone that's here. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to another Sunday with the Triumph Pentecostal Church of God. It's a privilege and an honor to be in your presence. Amen. Those online, God bless you. We greet you in the mighty name of our risen King, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Awesome, awesome praise and worship. Amen, amen. And if you're just able to stand, stand with me. Let's go this morning to our opening. Uh, yes, there is my love here this morning, Lord. God, we lift you up, we honor you, we magnify you, mighty, sovereign God. God, because of who you are, mighty God, that's why we are God. God, because you, mighty God, you created us, mighty God, in your very own image, mighty God. And God, for that today we are grateful, God. For that today we are lifting up your name, God. We are giving you the praise, all the honor, and all the glory, mighty God, because belongs to you, mighty God. God, we ask that you have your way in this service, mighty God. God, we ask that you bless your people, mighty God, that are here already, mighty God, and those that are on their way, God. God, I ask that you touch them and you guide their steps, mighty God. God, I ask that you bring them here safely into your house, mighty God. God, no weapon your word declares, mighty God, that's formed against them will prosper, mighty God. God, today we ask for healing, mighty God. We declare healing in this atmosphere. God, you have given us the key, mighty God. You said we should ask, mighty God, that God, you will grant our wish, mighty God. God, our requests, mighty God, our petitions, God, you said you will grant them. So on the authority of your mighty God. We ask for healing in this house, God. We ask that you touch your people, mighty God, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, mighty God. We stand against sickness this morning, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Emmanuel. His name is so sweet this morning, mighty God. Mighty God, he's our healer this morning. Mighty God, he's a miracle man this morning. So God, we ask that God, you show up in this place and you heal your people. Touch us once more, mighty God. But pray us in the spirit of the Holy Ghost this morning, mighty God. And God, we give the service to you, mighty God, and ask that you have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen, amen. to the amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. This time I'm going to ask our young April to forward to be reading the scripture this morning. April, God is there. We give God thanks 
to be God's glory. God has not given us a spirit of fear, so we start against it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning. This is a the songs a spirit of fear and we will stand against the thoughts the enemy. Amen. 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 Our kids are not his kids. No. Amen. Amen. It does not have to be perfect. Therefore, you just continue reading the Bible for God and watch God put boldness into your spirit. Amen. 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 God is a good God. And at this time, we are going to call on Minister Rebecca Minister for our prayer strike to us. Praise the Lord. Oh, but first, let's do the warfare declaration. We are going to call on Minister Rebecca to lead you our warfare declaration. So, Sister April, can you please put up the warfare declaration? Say all together. Say in the name of Jesus, be rebuked. Be rebuked. Be rebuked. All the power over you. You are defeated. You are full of in my children or in my family. I repent you in the name of Jesus. I build the number of strongholds. I cast out all fear and discouragement. Satan, get out of my way in the name of Jesus. Get, Satan, get out of my way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Good name this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship your name, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords, everlasting Father and Prince of peace, our redeeming God, our salvation, our hope. Hallelujah. Our eternal life. We thank you, God, for everlasting life. We thank you, God, for this day that you have made. Hallelujah. You said that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for giving us this opportunity to be in your house, to fellowship. One more time to worship your name. Hallelujah. Because you said that you created man to worship you. And you said that you are a spirit. And they that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. And so God, we come as a people before you. Hallelujah. Calling upon your name. God, because we know that. That heaven cannot fall. 
this morning, the word of God is Lord. Tell it to us this morning. It's a woman of God that has grown in leaps and bounds. And I remember when we first started Darlene and she went up and she was wet. And she was scared. And she didn't want to talk, be up here and talk. So coming now and being consistent moderator of service, consistent preacher teaching the word of God. The fear is not of God. And she had pushed aside the fear and looked to God to become the woman that she is today, the woman of God that she is today. So let's just give God to our minister, Keisha Staple, that she come and give us our head. Our head. Thank you, Lord. So good to be back with my family. Trust me. Thank you, Lord. Nothing is sweeter than being with your family. Amen. Amen. My brother and sister, oh my goodness, I have a great time. That's not my dad. I have to say my dad is just trust me. I'm a daddy. <laughs> and so my dad, he was so happy. My mom, everybody was so happy. Amen. But in spite of all, through it all. Amen. So emotional. Even but by the grace of God, I will be back again. Amen. And my mom said she would love to see my flesh comedy. You know what? Um, like we were talking in the morning, she said, All I'm saying is I woke up there praying, and it's like, Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> We use this word so many times. I'm told you this word if. Sometimes we use it positively, use it in a negative way. Bear with me. What if I walk out of my doctor's appointment here? What if I got the job that I was praying for three years ago? Oftentimes, we use the word what if in a negative way. What if I fail? What if it doesn't work out? What if I didn't get that job? And sometimes we say, what if we didn't get the job? We didn't even go for the job we had yet, but we already say, what if? Amen? Amen. You ever notice that you will be? I'm not a driver, but my son drives. Sometimes he's driving down the highway. This big eight wheeler parked beside you. And you say, Oh my God, what if I crush into that vehicle? What if? And behind your mind, you think, What if? Then you crush into that vehicle. Sometimes we have to use the word if. Always, not something, always use the word if in a positive way. The songwriter like said, if you are standing on a solid rock and you know the power that you have, Satan can prevail. Satan has to flee. But if you know the power that you have, 
Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we come to church and we we are sick. And the pastor will pray for us and will tell us, jump seven times. And you said, if I jump seven times, will I really heal? If is he really saying something that if I don't get healed? But as long as it says, I'm jumping seven times and I know that I'm going and heal. Forget about it. Amen? Amen. What if this is my season? What if we all come together as a church and start sharing the gospel? What if every Sunday, I'm just saying, what if every Sunday we all here get together and start knocking people's doors? What if we start knocking people that I repeat myself. Look at the amount of people we're going to have here this morning. We can't keep the gospel to ourselves and say, oh, people will come. We have to go out and spread the gospel. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sometimes we come to church and we hear the brother preaching. Sometimes we say, if that preacher is not preaching about me, I don't know who else will be preaching about me. We fail to realize that it's in the work. When the Bible says, search me, O God, and see if that's the word, if yeah, there's any wicked ways with me. So the word preach, and you say, oh, if you preach on me, I'm not coming back. That word was for me. No, you have to go home and search yourself and see if, if there's any. And you clean it up and come back in church. You know the amount of time that people come to church and say, if I didn't know, I didn't never come to church. If I didn't know, if, if, if. Or if that brother wouldn't say anything to me, you would see what I was doing. And they go over to the other side to the other brothers to bring up. And they complain if, 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 if I didn't know, let's say we try you. If I didn't know. But you listen to me online. Don't say if you didn't know, just come on in. We'll welcome you as the same with one love. Amen. So we all have brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 What if we start stop complaining about my situation? The song said, if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my back, victory will be mine. Sometimes we said, boy, I'm going to call the pastor. I'm going to call my first lady. But you can start fasting and praying about the situation. If you start fasting and praying about the situation and stop complaining, trust me, you will see it turn around. Amen. You will see a turnaround. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What if we committed more, especially in the church? What if we start paying our tithes more? What if we start coming to Bible study more? What if we start sweeping the floor more and more? And who is going to sweep the floor? What if? We start treating our pastor better. What if we start treating our first lady better because there's two most important people in the church? Amen. Amen. What if? Hallelujah. What if he tell us, you know what, Sister Keisha, I call my name. Sister Keisha, you're not paying your tithe. You're not paying your 10%. Am I going to keep him as an enemy? Am I going to walk out? No, because in the Bible it says you have to pay your ten percent. Amen. Amen. We focus upon the if too much. But if it's a good word, but we focus on the negative often. Amen. Young people, my little one. So what if the teacher said that how you can do the math properly? You wouldn't give up on math. So what if the teacher said you can make it to college? 
I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I remember the clear testimony that my daughter, she had cerebral palsy fever when she was 16 years old now. A fever came on, she was in grade three. And she said, Mom, the teacher said I thought I wouldn't make it to high school. I said, what? And I read out that scripture. I said, the teacher tried to keep them to be a teacher. And I'm telling you now, they're the smartest girl ever. Perfect in grade 11. So, my young ones, no matter what anybody says, if don't take it in a negative way, you push through. Amen? If you can change the world, young people, you can change the world. The world. Amen? Amen. Amen. Don't let the teacher, not a teacher, always say you can't. You can't do this. I'm going to change your. What they call curriculum. I'm going to, especially when you're in high school, I'm going to change your, my brother was supposed to change it. And they say, no, you want it, you stick with it. I'm going to change it because you cannot. And as long as you have God, as a God said, you can do anything. Anything you want to be. You see these young people in church? You can be the next prime minister because we need you to be it. Amen. Amen. You can be our next doctor when I get old. April, you can be the one who says, Oh, I remember. Tisha. Amen. Don't use the word if in a negative way. Always use it in a positive way. Amen. Today we come to say, What if you walk out here? Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, sometimes we focus on the what too much in a negative way. Like, for example, I'm doing the exam and I'm telling you, okay, two times. Joshua goes on. Huh? Okay. I said, God, if I go back in my day, I can I give up? No. no. And I tried the third time and I passed it. Amen. What if I was thinking that, you know what, the first time I feel it, I go over with it. What if the second time I said, no, I'm not going to do it again. Some of we are dumb because we focus on the what if. Rise up and say, you know what, I'm going to change the world. Amen. I'm going to make a difference in the world. What if we start cooking some soup and taking it down to the planet? What if we start going into the shelter? In the jailhouse, in the prison, in the hospital, and pushing the basket. You never know what souls are you going to win. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we come around with our kids, and our kids will always say, My mama always says, If you can't hear, you will feel. Amen. And sometimes my mom says, Okay, no, how you will feel, push your hand. Amen. My mom used to say that. And then a lot of people are in prison now. Only if they did only listen to their mama, their dad, or to their pastors, don't go down there. A lot of them, a lot of them is saying right now, if I did nobody school late, don't make this happen to you. Amen. What if you start having a personal relationship with God? You can see your family getting closer. I look at my dad and I saw my dad with two letters. I saw my dad with a six foot forty in the Pentecost church. And I even hit my dad, a very young man. And as a little girl, I think he was not with me, he was with me. And as a little girl, my mom used to say to my dad, let's go to church. 
I remember my mom when we walked in. Ten o'clock this morning, my dad was there. Then my mom told me that she was happy. We were deep in the dining room. I saw my mom how it came. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. And my dad was in there. We were there, my dad. And my dad had type 2 diabetes, which is why he came to the and my mom was with him. And I had a conversation with my dad, and when we went to the hospital, What it means to be the son of my mom that the husband said, Child, when my mom is saying, Stop doing this, and he did, and he said, No, you're not telling me what to do. What if, when my mom said, Go to a doctor because you know this thing wrong is happening? And it's funny, I love my dad, and my dad has a complaint to do. And I said, you said, you just be here. Yes. And I said, the scripture that says, you will not know. You never know your sins to be too late. You don't have to be sorry to go to hell. Because it's not your job. Amen. Amen. So it's sad. It's really sad to see my dad in this situation. But, what if you too might be, and we always said, you too, Lord, you too. And yeah. if you too that way, by going to the wrong shop, drinking the rum, and you know you have type 2 diabetes, you should know better. And his wife always come by him and see my mom and say, I don't think I have. I, I know I love Joshua, but what is it, my mom? My mom is so much. My same boy. If this woman want to walk up and see a taxi up again, that's what I just said. I said, if my mom want to walk up to the bike, you're going to die. And you know, my dad, what is my dad? My dad is tough. When they go home, I see him talk to my mom. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. my mom has to go think about you don't have no leg and you have your wife right beside you yeah. and she has to do everything and I'm telling you in my children don't wait to say what is do it now right? and that's my exaltation but he has been studying the word of God Diligently, going to school diligently, serving the word, preaching, teaching, and serving God. Preaching the word, teaching the word, and serving God. So this morning, we he's going to come and give us. Remember, we had Mr. Staple who went on appetite, give us an appetizer. And what a, what a good appetizer that was. Now it's time for the word. Are you ready for the word? It's time for the word of God. <laughs> So just put your hands together and welcome the Son of God this morning. God, I honor you. God, I ask that you allow Damien to be peaceful. Jesus, peaceful. God, I ask that you have your way in this service. Bless your people, my Lord. And call it to see Jesus in your name. You may be seated. Amen, amen, amen. What an awesome, awesome word from the woman of God. If Amen. Give her a round of applause. We are praying for her. We have seen the growth that God is doing. Amen. Amen. I was really looking forward this morning for the for the double double. Amen. The 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 the, 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 the woman staple and the male staple. But this morning he's not in. I will let him say it to himself. He wants to speak. He asked me earlier. So I'll let him on. Well, 
Good morning. Morning, brother. It's not about it's not about him, about me or you. It's all about him. It's why we come. Hallelujah. That is a wonderful word. I love, love the people of God. I have respect for the people of God. Yeah, it doesn't you know, really matter what's in, in, around or in our life. Yeah, God is. Amen. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled to teach this morning. They yeah, have grown so much. Amen. Yeah, and as a journalist, we are very sick and we see the whole day. Amen. Yeah, because God is making changes in our life. Thank you for hiding the truth away from me, but it's a good truth. Hallelujah. Amen. So I love the Lord. Amen. But you first love me. You look at me, I am not my best. And don't get the wrong idea. I'm not. Don't get the wrong idea. Okay. God is taking me in the different zone. The devil doesn't like it, and because of that, he said, Help me diffuse these traps. Amen. Because if there is nothing else that I do, I'm gonna attack that thing. Amen. He always comes with all the different traps, all the different things. You see, God did not say, God did not say, that we would have trials and tribulations. You know what he said? He would walk real through a lot of these trials and tribulations. After being the last 18 days, we had a former wife, and we know because he's one of my kids, so it's a real struggle. And I'm so sad. I have been so sick. So, I mean, thank God for a good wife who came home yesterday and she made sure she was good. And I feel my strength back. I haven't eaten in about 18 days. I mean, I have not, nothing has gone on this road. You know, no matter what I try to do, no matter what I try to do, you know what I did? Hallelujah! And I put it. And come home with my face. Oh, it's super good at the world. This morning, I tell you, I drank some yesterday, and I got up this morning and I drank some. And I'm so happy for the church. We must learn to be the book for you. Sister. Learn to be the book for you. What is going on with people? What is the difference? Amen. Glory to God. All I have is to be a part of the healing this morning. Amen. 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 We're going to learn to. We're going to stand and we're going to pray the word of God needs healing this morning. And we're going to pray for this place. Amen. Glory to God. Bishop, those hands are fiery hands. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to stand with the brother and the sister of our church and we're going to do the work of the Lord. Amen. Oh, 
then you will understand that the mass is being ripped of the devil. He does not like the growth. He does not like what God is doing in this house. The Lord said to come and will lift up the time. Heaven is in this place. I pray that I feel the spirit of the living God in this house. And I said, no weapon that's born against you, man of God shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to take you to another level. Everything that you have desired in ministry shall be given to you. Your cup will have a Your life will stand beside you and watch the glory of God in your family. No more crying. No more weeping. No more laughing. But you shall come with the glory of God. I declare healing in your body. I declare your food to go down your bed. Whatever it is that you desire to eat within six days, God is going to heal you. You have a testimony. No weapon that's born against you. My God will prosper. And God be thanked you for your healing. And we say, Amen to the amen. The church has stretch your hands and let's pray for the man of God this morning. It's a reason why this season is happening. It's a reason why I don't know what's going on right now. I wasn't supposed to be here ministering. But God has his way. I don't know what to do. No weapon that stands against us. No child's music. No Even when we don't see it, he's working. The songwriter says, even when we don't feel it, he's working. He, he's not a God that works on shit. Amen? He's a God that works 24 hours of the day and beyond. It's not his limit. He is the Alpha of the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He ups and skips through time as he pleases. This moment was predestined by heaven. So I'm telling you, open the day gate in authority. You are healed. That has been given to me. You are healed in the name of Jesus. We declare healing in your life. We declare blessing in your life. We are God in a night to a better portion of what you have in the name of of Jesus. Glory to God. Even when we don't see it, He's working. You may be seated, He's never stopped. He's never stopped working. Glory to God. I give God thanks, I give Him praise, I give Him honor, I give Him glory. I thank Him for this opportunity once more. As I will just reiterate what my sister said. I was just only one Sunday and I listened. Glory to God. I give God thanks for giving me back safely. What I, what I appreciate and love about God is that He never came to Jamaica with me. He was everywhere. He was still here in Triune. Amen. I got good report. Amen. I got good report. The services are from here. Amen. Just as it was awesome in Jamaica. Glory to God. Glory to God. I didn't carry him away with me. He's everywhere. Amen. He's on the present. This is the God we serve. Amen. God is in the midst of your storms. <laughs> God is in the midst of your storms. Amen. And it's so funny. My title is God is in the midst of our Amen. How many of you 
that God is the King of His family. Amen. How many of us believe that God will do it again? Amen. Glory to God. I give God thanks and give Him honor. Israel walked in their storm for 40 years. Amen. So sometimes we see ourselves going through some stuff. It's just for a season. Amen. We just came out of a pandemic and now we can say we're in a we see war going on and we see rumors of war. The poor prices are ridiculously high at least the gas price is being paid. Amen. It looks like there is a global recession going on right now. They don't want to announce it. But I will say it looks like the minister of But my friends, I come as a mouthpiece to let you know that this too shall pass. Amen? Just think about for a minute. They walked for 40 years when they know what they were doing. But yet still they had trials. They had suffering. They have tribulation. They have issues. Amen. But when when God gives you a word, not because you don't see it now, you must give up on what God has told you. Because it is a fact that God and His word above His very name. So don't give up on God because God will not give up on you. Amen. Think about it. 40 years. We have been going through this thing for almost three. Almost. And many have split. Many have passed the following. Many have given up. Many have committed suicide. Many have just walked away in depression. Many have turned to alcohol. Many turned to drugs. But let me tell you, continue praying to Jesus. Amen. Continue to call and up on Jesus. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is a promise keeping God. And what are the promises? It's the reason we're in this season. It's no way that was the bishop at this point to rip the mask of Satan and then preach his promises. So now he's preaching you how to pray. And then now he's preaching you also how to repent. He's making you understand that I have this for you. I have this for you. Don't do that. Say, 
name of Jesus. Every clean attack, every sector will be changed. Every clean clean of your eye, every clean will be shut up. I say it to you by the chair of the living God. Walk upon your stone. What has been given to us? We have no clue who we are. We think we do, but we don't. The Bible speaks about Elijah. Oh, yeah. 
this. You have to tell the kids on this. Amen. It's this way or no way. Or the highway to hell. There's no compromising. It's no a traumatized export to church. But they told them when the glory of God came down in Jamaica, I told them you could be the best humanitarian of the world. But if you don't commit to God, your life to God, you're lost. God is in the midst of our storm. Amen. Ecclesiastes verse 3 1 to 8 reads, I'm reading from the King James Glory to God. To everything, I'm reading from 1 to 8, pardon me. To everything, there is a season and a time to everything on the heaven. Every season and a time, a time to be born and a time to die. This is the Bible speaking. I will encourage this church to grasp that point. So sometimes the leader die, the father die. The one who inspired us to go to church died. And our way of going to church died spiritually. And we ask God to help. But if you were reading your Bible, when the Bible says there is a time to be born and a time to die, we will go one day. And we all need to come to that understanding. And then, but the time to have invested in the flesh. Nobody wants to die, but everybody wants to go to heaven. <laughs> there are times to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. I'm reading from the King James. A time to kill and a time to heal. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus today, but in Jesus' name. He's healed. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to live. A time to keep and a time to pass away. A time to rain and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. I told you this morning, it's a time to hear sin right now. It's a sin to our arena. It's time for us to hear sin. It's time for us to hear sin. We must Understand who we are. Let the environment that you are in respect it. The throne and the spirit say, Yes, sir, I'm a man of God. I don't need your spirit around me. Stand up for you, man. Amen. In the workplace, I want you to listen to me. I'm a servant of a true and living God, the one that made you and I. So listen to me. Respect me. I respect and manners just as I have it for you. Because it goes both ways. Don't take your sins for don't use a sinful and disrespect people's 
God wants us to be open. Have the humility. This is the God we serve. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6 and 8. I'm reading from the New King James. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, for the Lord our God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Wherever you are, God is. So a child of God, whatever situation you're in, God is with you. God is walking with you. God is carrying you. God is holding you. Come on, child of God. Wherever you are, the position you find yourself in, remember who you are. You belong to the true and living God, not protector. He is not made of wood. He is not made of brass or gold. He is not a power. He is made out of gold. First eight reads, and the Lord He is the one who goes with you. He will be with you. He look over at the one of fifteen. He will not leave you nor forsake you. But repeat that the word and repeats itself. Do not fear or be dismayed. Dismayed means don't be frightened. Amen. Every little issue we see with that but we can fear. We want to run away. We have a baby at home. We have this cancer. Give the fear of Jesus. Let it go. Jesus. What if it comes? What if it comes? What if it comes? What if it comes? If it comes. You know, the Lord is going to come to the world. Even if you are just going to come to the world. Yeah. Who God is. Yeah. What 
got the very little thing I need in here to decide. The two parts looking at the toss. And this and this and the I and then when we understand them, when we get in the bloody mission of paradox, we become a powerhouse. We can soon just go back in and see everything dropping beside you, but we are still walking because the Bible said the wicked and the evil shall kill each other, but my people will be okay. You will see things diminishing beside you, but it's been taken away. And even though you're back, you're in a race of the market and cannot talk. Because there's somebody with the anointing of God living in that house. The more I preach, the more I almost understand what God was doing. When I was a kid, the neighbors, my mommy had five of in the house, our house, and our son, and they wanted to buy the house. So their kids live in England. And she feeds it to you. And she loves to you. But once she hears the her race and the house, she wants the house. And glory to God, Hilda, skilled as I call her, my mommy, went up to National Holding Trust Mission. So what I talk about, my Jesus, don't tell me nothing. I understand what I'm talking about. And when she go into the lady, the lady said, you have kids, I'm going to hide this document. Nobody will buy your house. Come and look, just don't tell them what I'm telling you. This document is going to be put away. You have to say, when that finally opened the door and bless mommy with the market, she went back and looked to find the woman and said, That woman doesn't work here. Who are you talking about? So tell me about the God I serve. Let me tell you why I'm lying to this God. Because I'm feeling in front of the suffering. I'm feeling in front of the child. Who we are. 
our spirit bishop. That's right. That when, when uh, we were traveling from Saint West Milan, and the soldier stopped, and he said, "Any illegal weapon or substance?" So I said, "No." My driver said, "No." And he said, "You're sure?" He said, "Let's stop on the street." Sixty-six in the back seat. Here comes Sam Jesus. He never feel fear to fall away from him. We call him Noah. My God never call him. Him and the king of police. My God never carry mine. My God call soldiers. My God call them. We have never had authority over a soldier. We have never had soldier for the true and living God. There's nobody here to worry about. Father said, when the enemy, when Satan, when the thief, when mortgage, when finance, I'm paraphrasing, when financial issues come, when issues with the kids come, when issues with the husband come, I said, that comes up. When we are in the I up to your master, we are the church. The Bible said the Spirit of God, the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So you yeah. feel like you are being overwhelmed with like storm this evening. You need to ring a praise like you have never done before. And let your prayers be present and come upon the true and living God. The church today, or I don't know this one, but we are having so we have gotten so nice and clean as a church. Maybe that we were doing a convert to high school. And the, the younger folk in Jamaica would say you get so dainty. But you're going through some issues. And the word of God tells you that. Sometimes I tell you, you cannot lose the same principle to utter the same issue. But you have to understand if you just pray and pray about the water, I don't think that. But when you pray for some bigger stuff, and you have to understand that God says He wants you to borrow to me. Borrow means some God in submission. But this church, nobody can do that no more. 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 Church about submission to him and do all the very things and very things and submit to God. But we have gotten so sophisticated. We worry about the soup that we have to give you. So you're free to go underneath. And I don't want the bishop to see me. I don't want the congregation to see me. Well, go ahead with your problem that is you alone know. You have your needs. You have your challenges. Yeah. You have your problems. So do go what you need to do. Stop that me. If I don't care who see, just like when you're baptized, you do it in front of an audience. And go back on me as if that is God. This issue has been going on too long. I've been praying, but I've been sitting and praying, and I'm watching what the brothers decide to do it. But God. I'm going in submission. I am ready. I am a state of evil. We as a church have gotten so into ourselves. We forget who we are serving. And we forget how we should serve him. How we should pray to him. How we should make requests of him. Amen.
And then I got the Bible and he says, we know that God works all things together for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. But some will not know because they don't read the Bible. They don't have a clue what the Bible says. So when you tell him that, what the Bible is doing is not that he tells me about what I'm going through is from God. You know, see, God wouldn't let go back. It's God. All things work. Not some. When you go through some challenges, when you go through some battle, when you go through some tests, you are not, you are just being by the way and fast experience. So that when the next one comes around, you should be more equipped. And when you see the God going through, you can say, hey, I've been there, my brother. I've been there, my sister. I understand the challenges that you are going through. But don't give up on God. Keep saying Keep praying to him. Keep fasting. Keep preaching the word. Don't pick on God because God will not pick on you. You will gain past experience so that when the next one comes around, you should be more equipped strategically, mentally. The thing is, we want all the issues to look the same. The same, I only want to fight the glass. That's all the battles that I want. Next month, I only want to fight the glass. I, I own The war of Russia spent two and I spoke of five months in there. Not one by two. It's not one attack, I should say. One type of attack. So when you are looking to go what to what I went through, you will you may never. But because of what I've been through, the struggle, I have an understanding to tell you don't give up. Keep serving God. Keep working. Keep walking with God. Keep going. Allow God to hold your hand. How? By staying in His Word. By staying in His kingdom. By coming to church. By serving Him. Amen? When you begin experiencing, it's like when you start to work up to the kingdom. You start to fight for it, and then you go back three more weeks of fight for it like nothing. Because you have gained experience, you have gained knowledge, you have gained strength. So the bigger problem that you have been through has strengthened you. We all experience a lot of All of us were poor. But if we still treat them poor like the God told, if we are that you that we people. You don't go to that deep of any day. Amen. Amen. The backbone will be stronger. So going forward, you won't be able to push over. You will gain so much confidence and strength and knowledge that when the one up are you woman up and that you stand up so when the wind that life starts to blow when someone offends you with work you will not reach no and no you see we're fearing this part with God with some small steps that is the host of the belief this is belief and this is going to go but the one person put two words we will not react like the world we will react with a sound mind yes, and not a fleshly response. That's what the world can do. When somebody stabs you in the back, you will understand that when you have answered the call, you do not answer the critics. No. You let the critics say what they want to say. And do keep serving God because we are marked up and woman up. That's why we can react that way because we are become mature saints. You can't stop yourself. No. Because you have become.
become much sure. In the press walk, the walk with Jesus, do we not react the way the world wants you to react by knocking up the brethren or knocking up the sister? But you will say, God, do handle this. This is too much for me. I am not interested. They are not worth sinning for. The key, and I will reiterate, reiterate this, is that when the issues come, there are kingdom principles, kingdom instructions that are set before us that how we should react to what we are going through. You have the past, as we said earlier, praising, praying. Fasting and loving each other. Amen. And keeping, keeping, share what God has blessed you with. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. When we apply these kingdom principles, the wind blow. Let the billows roar. Come on. Because God is here in the midst of our stuff. What we are going through right now, God is in the middle of it with us. He is walking us through this situation. He never told us that we are going to be issued. He never told us that we are going to be suffering. He said, I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. I wanted to read it. I love this from the Apostle John. The Amplified version, Romans 8, 35, but it might be a little bit here. So we will have a new Amplified version. Read it on 35. Who shall ever separate us from the love of God? Will tribulation. Our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, or danger, our soul. Just as it is written, and for what remains written. That word you just said is forever. It cannot change. For your sake, we are put to death all day long. We are regarded as sheep for the sun. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us. So much that he died for us. For, this is what I love, for I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that we have Death, no life, no angels. I'm just going. I'm convinced. But I want you to understand that you should always be convinced. Always be convinced. For I am convinced. I continue to be convinced. Beyond any doubt. This is the key. This is a problem. We are convinced for one season. And then we forget it. When the next season come around, you are like God for the put me through this. But the word of God is saying, I'm convinced. And I need the church to continue to be convinced with all a shadow of death. In that business, that don't deal with that. Don't let me be in that business. That want you to understand that we that death, no light, no hell, no angels, no power, no anything can separate you. Yes, Continue to be convinced. Continue to keep the word of God in your mind. Continue. To walk with Jesus. Continue 
to fast. To pray. Continue to pray, Star. Even when your wallet is empty, continue to pass. Continue to pray, Star. Even when you don't have anything on the plate in front of you, continue to pray, Star. In your mind, convince yourself without a shadow of doubt that my God is the overcomer. He is my provider. He will provide for me.
wants us to fear who? Let's start. And believe me, church, and not one. Hey! Talk about it. I don't like my wife to tell you. The young man said to me, Call everyone in Canada, brother Damien. And we're going to scream it. I said, I'm not about to no. shut up today, even my wife knows me. I don't I I don't like to invite you somebody to church the day I'm preaching. That's right. But I don't want it to be about me. It's not about me, it's about God. And I will encourage you. But no matter the walk you're walking, God is with you. He's with you. The storms that you're going through, God is with you. And I said that to say this that when we go to the next of the cross, one of the things that said, My mind, I was preaching, and my mind was blown. Yes, yeah. to see what God is doing. Amen. So I'm telling you, church, that. But God has changed my message right now. We have to be fruitful for the work of God. Amen? We have to be fruitful in God's eyes. Because the church has allowed men of God to send them towards them. Because men of God have been forced. But I blame them because they're still weak. Like, like the young man that walked with Moses, the and his son, what is his name again? Aaron, because he got pressured to go and make some idol out of gold. And because men of God, and I'm not giving them excuses, but I'm just breaking it down right now. Yeah. Because men of God have been lacking in finance. They have been forced to call in prophets to come and tell you, do this, do that, if you sow this, and so forth. If you do all the circumstances, because he's forcing you to buy a prophecy. God said you want to be given a billion of our He loves a cheerful giver. But the church, because the finance is so much things I show you. Church has changed the narrative to sell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten thousand of our work for our people in the Come on. That's possible. No. Huh. Are these men coming to preach about being expected? No. But you're not trusting God, you're trusting your flesh. That's God says, God says, because everybody knows what the Bible says, that the truth says, thus says the Lord, and the Father told him, thus says the Lord. And the Lord didn't say. But they're going to pay a price. But I encourage the church to be fruitful, to see what's going on. Amen? To understand that during their storm, God is with you. God is with you. Let Jesus say to them, let go across the other side. And when the wind started to blow, when the wind started to rock and shake the boat, the men of God got paranoid. And they said, Jesus, Jesus, the Bible said he was sleeping. In the storm, Jesus was sleeping. And Jesus told us, that we can do greater things than he. So when the storm going on, sleep. And pray, sleep, wake up, pray, sleep, do what you want to do. Do your daily activities. Continue what you're doing, serving the Lord. Look to the revelation of Jesus speaking. He did the simplest thing during the storm. So yes, you're going through some stuff, but keep on going. Keep 
keep on doing your daily activities. Don't give up because Jesus is in the court. All you have to do is wake him up. Come on, hit the panic button. Hit the back button first. And I told you before you can call on Jesus. It's done by J E S U S. Jesus. It did not change church of Christ. Whatever you're going through, what you're saying, what you're hitting, you're walking. Jesus is on your boat. Call on him. And always remember that in the name of Jesus, we are victorious. God bless you. I love you, Chayun. I love you with the love of you. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
Look at your God. Hello? Because your God is bigger than the circumstances. Amen? Your God is bigger than the circumstances. God bless you. Jamaica, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. Hello? God is going to use this. Amen. You're going to stick with God with you. The battle you're going to, God is with you. It's over. There is God. That's the key word. You know the key word God gave me two weeks ago? It is good. It is the battle has been won. Amen. Let us just be faithful. 
when I saw it, and then where did it go? God would have said, Amen. So again, it does. Sing one verse to the same. Let's bring it higher than that. Okay. Hallelujah. 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 What a fellowship, what a joy divine, the living life, the endless Shall be given. Good measure pressed down, taken together, running over. The same men that we met with God shall return. God Almighty is said, Bring in your tithe and Thank God and prove me now. I will not open up the window. Thank you. Amen. We're going to pray for the church. Robert Stickin, we're going to ask for the church. Glory to his God. We turn our heads. My God, the only God, the only true and living God. There is none like you, dear Lord. Oh, your words are powerful, your words are true. And God, if we follow your word, God, if we live by your word, not the word of man, but the word of Jesus Christ. Oh, we thank you today, God, hallelujah, for your word, God, hallelujah. Oh, let your word be repeated down in our spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your healing power, God. There is none like you, hallelujah. No matter what one wants to say, it doesn't matter what the wind wants to say, but when God blows his news of you, you are different. <laughs> Thank you, God, for your healing power. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, God, for your word today. Your word that makes a difference. Your word that comes and brings life. Your word your words that bring healing. Your word that makes a difference in the life of your son, in the life of your daughter. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. That your word will come alive in the hearts of my brother, in the hearts of my sister today. Hallelujah. That we go, we go with the word. We go with your word. And we we'll keep your word. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. 
That's the only way to it. It's not the word of a man. It's not the word of a man. It's not the word of a modern God. But it's your word, and I will live in your word. God, and that's what we trust God for. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this must be God with your trust. Let us go in the word. Let us be positive of what is in the word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and that we will walk with you this week in the name of Jesus, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Know that you are God of every day. You are not just a friend of God. You are an enemy of God. Jesus. 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 Just listen to me. Let the words of my mouth. The meditation of my heart. The Lord has said. And God is saying, you know, the word I have is very simple. We got the night to finish the word in meditation of my heart. He has and God said, let him pray the first God told me about two or five weeks ago. Reverend said, God says, son, you will be success. God says, as long as you live by the word, you will be success. You see, a lot of people think money is just success. Right? Money is not all. When God made you to be successful, anything. And he said, he blessed him every year, even as a soldier. So it's a big deal. Praise God. God bless you. I want to check you out. This person, I love you all with all my heart. Never stop praying. I tell you, God bless you.